Hey guys, welcome back to Faith Blooms. Tonight we're talking about how we might have lost that loving feeling um, with our time with God, but how we can get it back. Tonight we're going to be getting our Bibles out. We're going to dust them off if there's any dust on them. You're going to grab a cold drink, um, something to write with, and something where you can take notes. And we're going to be talking about how we can do it. So let's open our Bibles. And we're going to open up to Psalms 40. I'm just picking one that I saw. I waited patiently for the Lord and he inclined to me and heard my cry. He hears your cry too. He hears your cry for uh, more Bible time, for the desire of Bible time, and also the thought of getting into his word a little bit deeper. So, to go on in Psalms 40, that was verse 1. Psalms 2, or 40, verse 2 says, He brought me up out of the pit of destruction and out of the miry clay. If you need to be refreshed with Jesus, you need to be put out of the big miry clay, then ask God to come into your life, to work in your lives, and to acknowledge that you're struggling. First is to acknowledge, acknowledge you need God and to accept it. Then you need to believe. Once you believe that you know he is your God and he's for you, then see, you need to confess, confess your sins and to tell him that you want to get right back on that path that you used to be on. And if you've never been on that path, it's time to get there. Let's do it. Join me as we pray and get started in reading the rest of Psalms 40, verses 1 through 3. Lord, we thank you for this day, and we ask that you would help those who are listening. If they haven't opened their hearts to you yet, Lord, I pray that you would help them too. And Lord, if there's someone that just needs a healing touch tonight, I pray that you'd help them to be more... Uh, open to that healing lord um i also pray that you would bless faith blooms and that you would help us to grow and that we would be able to minister to others and to grow the king the glory in the kingdom for him not for me lord i praise your name because you're good and holy and you've planted me here in this season and i'm glad you've brought me back to it so lord i just pray that your will would be done in jesus name amen so, as I grab a tissue, because it's allergy time, the farmers are out, you know, all that. So, we're going to go on. So, Psalms 40, 1 through 3 says, I waited patiently for the Lord. That means I didn't, like, stand there and go, okay, God, you didn't come in 30 seconds, so let's move on. You waited. You waited until he caught up to where he wanted you to be. So I waited patiently for the Lord and he inclined to me, meaning he bent down to me and heard my cry. He heard every need you had, you know, and he set my feet upon a rock making, oh, sorry, I just messed up. Let's try this again. Verse two, he brought me up out of the pit of destruction of the miry clay. And he set my feet upon a rock, making my footsteps firm. So he's not going to give you like sinking sand. He's giving you like the solid rock, the foundation, which is the Bible, which is prayer, which is quiet time with him. So if you've lost those three steps, grab your Bible. That's step one. Grab a hold of your time with God and ask him into your life again. And three is to just dig yourself into that Bible. When you're in that Bible, you and you, you're not going to have nothing bad happen because he's going to be with you, and you're going to be praying every day. And you're reading and you're praying and you're reading and praying and you're learning and you're learning and you're learning. So that's a cycle, and that cycle gives you the opportunity to grow in God's grace. So, as you do that, you will also learn that since you've been set upon that rock that will not let you fall, 
you know, it's not going to sink and it's not going to be shaky. He says, he put a new song in my mouth and a song of praise to our God. So we should be praising and honoring God with our voices, praising him and telling him, thank you for what he's done for us. Thanking him for the opportunity to be with him and to share this time with him. And then we're going to finish up um, verse 3. Many will see and fear and will trust in the Lord. So there's lots that's going to happen. People are going to learn to fear the Lord, which is the true way to become closer with God. And you will see him at some point, you know, if you've not seen him, I have a pastor and he um, says, I want to look like Jesus. I want to smell like Jesus. I want to, you know, everything. I want to, I want all the presences of Jesus in my life. So if you have somebody close to you that goes to church and is a true Christian and a follower of Christ and you you know with every beam of light that you have in you that that person knows Jesus. Stick to that person. Model that person. Ask that person about their testimony. Ask that person how to get a connection with God. Ask them to pray with you. There's nothing wrong with that. On this channel, we want to be people who will pray with you, we will praise with you, cry with you, and teach you all that you need to know about Jesus. Not all, because I don't know everything, but all that I know about Jesus. So, read Psalms 40. Um, let's do the first three. And um, come back to me with your comments and... Um, tell me what you love about Jesus and how you want him to grow deeper into your heart. Have a great day and I hope you uh, felt God's presence here today. And we'll see you next time on Faith Blooms. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.